WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the 3 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update on this Monday, the 18th of March. We're looking at the Dow up 144 at 38,859. Look at this. There's a technique that I use that's called Chapman Inside Track Propellant Zone. If the price starts to push underneath that or slide underneath that, it becomes a repellent zone. We're right on the line for the Dow daily chart. The weekly chart is still very strong. So is the monthly. Looking at the S&P, S&P right now trading uh, off the high, but still pretty darn good. Up 40 points at 51.57.42. Getting into this resistance, I haven't extended this. I should have done that earlier on. This is your inside track repellent zone right here. And we got close to it. Now we're pulling back just a little bit. Weekly chart looks fabulous. Um, getting a little overbought in the daily, certainly. We're looking at the QQQ. Uh, not that great. Uh, it's starting to pull back a little bit more than the... Uh, I shouldn't say not that great. It's still very good. It's just not as strong as the others. It's up 460 at 438.52. This is the Invesco QQQ Trust Series, the NDX 100 trading vehicle. Weekly chart has already made a peak C, but still pretty strong. You're just about to see the technicals by maybe Wednesday or Thursday start to deteriorate. Uh, and that's what we're watching very closely. IWM, that's the Russell 2000. That's the small caps. Struggling a bit down, 43 cents at 201.96. A little bit weaker technically. The IWM is uh, the small cap 2000s. Uh, now let's go to gold. Gold has been holding pretty well. It's up to, it's not doing very much, but let's face it, after this spectacular move in February, just taking a little bit of a break, breather in March, got to this inside track repellent zone right there, or propellant zone now, it's just sitting there very nicely. We'll see if the dollar is able to go higher or if it starts to pull back, and that'll help, the, uh, and that'll help gold. So we've got the dollar right now up. Uh, 17 ticks at 103.60, trying to get to the 200 period moving average of 103.74 on the daily chart. And we've got bonds. Hmm, this is a problem. The bonds are down. So yields are going high. I, you know, the Fed coming up in another two days, down a half a point at 118 and 830 seconds. Just not that great. Crude oil, interesting enough, is really strong. It's up $1.79 at 82.37. You're watching this climbing the nine period exponential moving average all week. I'll be back for the Tom O'Brien show in a few moments' time. Stand by because this should be an exciting last hour. See you in a few minutes.